Hey guys, this is going to be a quick tutorial on how to use the Desmos calculator to make horizontal and vertical lines. And I'm going to show you how to make a horizontal line first, just as a review. Horizontal is going that direction. And I want to make a horizontal line that is going through the two on the y axis. So, in order to make a horizontal line that passes through the y axis at two, I am going to go to the equation editor right over here and I am going to type in there a simple y equals 2. So you see that whatever number you set equal to y, it's going to pass right there as a horizontal line that goes through that corresponding number. Don't worry for now about when this pops up. It's not useful for right this second, but it will be a little bit later. Now, I'm gonna show you how to make a vertical line. And let's see, I would like a vertical line that's gonna go through the negative six. But this time, it's not passing through the y-axis, it's passing through the x-axis, right? Because that's the x-axis. So, the equation that I'm going to enter this time is not gonna start with a y equals. Because it passes through the x-axis, it's going to start with a x equals. So, in order to enter a second equation, I'm gonna take my mouse and just click right here underneath the first equation box. That's gonna open up a second equation box. And I'm gonna type in x equals negative six. So the number that I typed in equal to negative six is going to be the corresponding spot where it intersects with the x-axis. So what I would like you to do very quickly is practice that yourself so you'll see on this Google site where you're watching this video right now right beneath it is a link or there should just be a, a blank graph right underneath it so I want you to try to graph two of your own lines so I want you to graph a vertical or I'm sorry a horizontal line that goes through the negative four and then I would like you to graph a horizontal line. I don't know why I keep getting these backwards. A vertical line, sorry, that passes through the six. So I want you to graph a vertical line that goes passes through the six. And I want you to graph a horizontal line that goes through negative four. So using the examples that I just gave you a second ago. So pause the video, try that out yourself, and then restart the video when you're ready to check. So I am going to assume that you paused the video, you tried it yourself. So I'm going to do the horizontal line first. And again, we wanted a horizontal line that goes through the negative 4. So in the equation editor, I typed x equals negative 4. Oh, shoot. Ah, duh. y equals negative 4. Okay, so it's a y equals is how I'm going to get that vertical line. And you see I got that vertical line that goes through the negative 4. Then remember I wanted a line that was vertical that goes up and down through the 6. So in order to make a vertical line, it's not going to be a y equals, it's going to be an x equals 6. So as you can see, I graphed a horizontal line that goes through the negative 4. That negative 4 corresponds to what I got right there. And then a vertical line which passes through the six, and I had to use an x equals equation in order to get that vertical line. 